Cups. However, if they fail to defeat the Eggheads, the money rolls over to the next show. So las chicas de botas, the Eggheads have won the last six games, which means £7,000. Says you can't beat the Eggheads. OK, let's see. Pity we don't have a dance category here. <laughs> We do have an entertainment round there. Let's see if that comes up for you. But uh, not this time. Our first head-to-head -head battle is Arts and Books. Who'd like to play this? Any one of you can play Arts and Books. I don't mind. Do you want to do it as well? Paula, do you want to do it? I'll give it a go. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it a Paula, go. Then. Yeah. Paula, and yeah. who would you like to play from the Eggheads? Who would you like to partner into the question room? Chris. OK, Chris. Yeah. Chris. 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 Oh. Perfect flamenco partner, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I could see you doing a bit of that. Yeah. Olé. <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's have Paula and Chris into the question room then, please. OK then, Paula, would you like to go first or second? Uh, could I go first, please? You certainly can, Paula. Here's your first question then. It's arts and books. Mole, Rat and Badger are principal characters in which much-loved children's book? The Wind in the Willows, Winnie the Pooh or Alice in Wonderland? Tricky one, but, um... I don't know why, um, The Wind in the Willows uh, seems to ring a bell with me, so uh, I'll go with uh, The Wind in the Willows. It's the right answer. Well done, Paula. Good start, Paula. One to you. Mole, Rat and Badger in The Wind in the Willows. So your question, Chris. Nobbert a Lad, a Yorkshire childhood, is a memoir by which TV presenter and novelist? Richard Maidley, Alan Titchmarsh or Des Lynham? Well, Richard Maidley's an Essex lad. So it's uh, Alan Titchmarsh, who is a genuine Yorkshire lad. Alan Titchmarsh. The TV presenter and novelist, let's not forget, very successful novelist, Alan Titchmarsh is the right answer. Well done, Chris. Alan Titchmarsh is correct. So back to you then, Paula. The Gremlins, published in 1943, was the first novel by which writer? Ian Fleming, James Herbert or Roald Dahl? Um, definitely not Ian Fleming. Um, not Roald Dahl, from what I can remember. I'm going to go with James Herbert. OK, The Gremlins, you think, was written by James Herbert. Paula, it's Roald Dahl was Roald Dahl's first novel, The Gremlins. So, nothing there, but uh, let's see if it stays all square. Chris, the art movement known as Dada flourished in the early part of which century? The 18th, 19th or 20th? Well, it was a form of surrealism in the early 20th century. Dadaism? Mm -hmm. uh, 20th century is the right answer, Chris. So you've got to get this, Paula. The specially constructed building which now houses the Burrell Collection of Art was opened in 1983 in which city? Manchester, Glasgow or Leeds? A the tricky the Burrell question. Collection. Um, that's a tough one. Um, collection. And I'm going to guess this one. Um, I'm going to guess Glasgow. OK, Paul, important you get this right. You did. It's the right answer. Yes, the Borough <laughs> Collection is in Glasgow. Well done. But because of that uh, slip-up on your second one, Chris has got a chance to go through. If he doesn't get it, we go to sudden death. Chris, what was the name of the detective created by novelist Michael Dibdin in his series of crime stories set in Italy? Inspector Zan, Inspector Yin or Inspector Zen? Well, Inspectors Zan and Inspector Yin, they sound like they should be Chinese, so I don't think they'd be in Italy. But uh, given that Zen is a philosophical concept, he presumably solves his crimes by <sighs> philosophical means, if you, mean, if you like, uh, I'd go for Inspector Zen, but I do not know. Inspector Zen sounds a tad oriental as well, Chris, on mm. the... On the logic, you expelled Inspector Zan and Inspector Yin. But it is the right answer, Inspector Zen, the Michael Dibdin uh, crime story set in Italy, which means you've just squeaked through into the final round. Just one wrong, Paula, but it means I'm afraid you won't be playing for Las Chicas de Botas in the okay. final round. Would you come back and join your teams? Well, Las Chicas de Botas lost uh, one brain from the final round. The eggheads are all still there at this point. We play our next head-to-head. -head. Now, this one's going to be Geography. Now, who'd like to play this? Geography. 
pretty, will you, do you want to take, take on take geography? No, there's the joke around, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> the joke around? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You're very game, I see. Paula Paul was just the same, playing in the last one. Yeah, whatever. Uh, who would you like to play then, pretty? It can't be Chris, one of the other four eggheads. Judith. Judith, then. Judith, Judith. 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 Judith, it is then. <laughs> Again, you, you <laughs> were chosen there, you didn't mind. They chose Judith for you, you didn't mind either. Well, Judith, you've been chosen. Would you care to take your positions, both of you, in the question room, please? Pretty, would you like to go first or second? Uh, I'll go first, please. Good luck, then. It's geography. Here you go, your question. In which body of water does the Isle of Man lie? The Irish Sea, the English Channel, or the North Sea? The English Channel. OK, the English Channel. It's the Irish Sea. Oh. It's, uh, I think it's th thinking the Isle of Wight there, perhaps. Um, not the English Channel, the Irish Sea. So, a chance for Judith for the lead. The Cathedral City of Ripon is to the east of which British National Park? Dartmoor, Yorkshire Dales, or the Brecon Beacons? Well, Ripon is in Yorkshire. Um, the Brecon Beacons is in Wales. Dartmoor is in Devon. So it, it's um, definitely the Yorkshire Dales. OK, the Yorkshire Dales, yes, of course, that's correct. Judith, OK, pretty, let's get you off the mark with this one, then. Wagga Wagga, whose name means many crows, is a city in which country? Kenya, Panama, or Australia? Um, I'm going to go for Australia. Wagga Wagga. Mm -hmm. Didn't know it meant that many crows, but now we all know, and it is in Australia. Yes, well done. That's much better. We've got you going now. <laughs> but I hope Judith slips up on one. Which British dependency is situated in the Caribbean Sea, about 180 miles northwest of Jamaica? Is it Pitcairn, Bermuda, or the Cayman Islands? Well, it's definitely not Pitcairn, because that's somewhere else altogether. I think it's the um, Cayman Islands. Oh. OK, 180 miles northwest of Jamaica in the Caribbean Sea, the Cayman Islands. It's correct, Judith. OK, pretty. You need to get this right, and you need to hope Judith gets hers wrong. So the business in hand for you is this one. St. Petersburg is a city in which American state? Florida, Alaska, or California? This is tough. Um, I'll go for... California. California? There are, I know there are Londons and all kinds of things all over the United States, but uh, St. Petersburg is a city in Florida. It's Florida, pretty, not California, which means, I'm afraid, the head-to-head -head ends there. Judith's got two right, you've got two wrong, so there's no need for me to put another one to her. I'm sorry, you won't be playing in the final round, pretty. Would you both please come back and join your teams? OK, Las Chicas de Botas have lost two brains from the final round. The Eggheads haven't lost any yet. We'll play another subject, another head-to-head. -head. Oh, yes, it's entertainment. I'll do this one. <laughs> You're straight in there, Victoria. I hardly got it out of my lips there. If politics comes up, I'll do entertainment. <laughs> OK, Victoria, it's going to be you then. Uh, entertainment, who would you like to play from the Eggheads? Chris and Judith have played, so those three in the middle, Daphne, CJ mm. or Kevin? Daphne. 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 OK. Daphne. 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 Daphne, you're very Daphne. sure, aren't you? <laughs> you're sure you wanted to play? You're sure you want to do Daphne? OK, let's have you both into the question room then, please. So, Victoria, what are you going to do? Are you going to go first again or go second? Um, I'd like to go first, please. Make it work this time. OK, Victoria, your question on entertainment is this. Toot Sweets and Choochie Face are songs from which film and stage musical? Chicago, Singing in the Rain or Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? I seem to remember Dick Van Dyke singing about Toot Sweets and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. So that's my answer, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And that will be the right answer, too. Well done, Victoria. Good start. Too sweet some choochy face. Daphne, in 2007, which TV chef, known for her love of rich food, presented a series on how to cook express food? Nigella Lawson, Anjum Anand, or Delia Smith? That's the luscious Nigella Lawson, according to my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Nigella Lawson is the right answer. Well done, Daphne. OK. Back to you, then, Victoria. 
Kim Carnes had a UK hit single in 1981 singing about which actress's eyes? Elizabeth Taylor, Marilyn Monroe or Betty Davis? I'm not sure of the answer, but Liz Taylor's famous for violet eyes, so I'm going to go with Elizabeth Taylor. OK. Elizabeth Taylor's eyes. Well, most actresses seem to have striking eyes, don't they? Um, is it Liz Taylor? It's not. It's Betty Davis. Yeah. Betty Davis eyes. So, a chance for Daphne to go into the lead. Daphne, Drastic Fantastic, released in September 2007 is the second album by which female artist? Katie Tunstall, Joss Stone, or Amy Winehouse? That's Katie Tunstall. Very confident there, Daphne? Yeah. Are you a fan? No, but my husband likes her. Oh, OK. God. He's got a long list <laughs> yeah. there, hasn't he? <laughs> well, he likes her singing. Katie Tunstall is the right answer. Yes, Drastic Fantastic. So you've got to get this then, Victoria. Which Grammy Award-winning band was founded in 1994 by former Nirvana drummer Dave Grohl? Is it uh, U2, the Foo Fighters, or the B-52s? G-R-O-H-L. Dave Grohl. Um, I'm going to have a guess at the Foo Fighters. Correct. Well done, Victoria. The Foo Fighters, yeah. And it, uh, former Nirvana drummer Dave Grohl. OK, but because of that slip-up on the second one, Daphne has a chance to win the round with this one. Daphne, which actress wrote, directed and starred in the 2007 film Two Days in Paris? Is it Julie Delpy, Juliette Binoche or Audrey Tattoo? Um, I'm sure I remember reading something about... I think... No, it, it, it's Julie Delpy. It's the right answer, Julie Delpy, yes, uh, wrote, directed and starred in Two Days in Paris, which means, again, you've just squeezed out one of the uh, members of Las Chicas de Botas. Victoria, you won't be in the final round, I'm sorry to say. Daphne, you will be, I'm sorry to say. Would you both please come back and join your teams? <laughs>